All right, so we need to complete the square, right? And we need to find the x-intercepts? Yes. Okay. So to complete the square, um, we need to make sure that we isolate our x values. Because remember, we first want to get a perfect square trinomial. So I'm going to say h of x equals negative x squared plus 4x. Plus 1. And the reason why I put them in parentheses is because remember, I want to like isolate this. Remember, our goal, when we're completing our square, our goal is to put it into what we call standard form. So I need to take this and I need to make, I need to find a binomial square. So there's a couple rules and processes that we can use. First thing is I need to insert some parentheses and I need to take this and make it into a binomial square. So the first thing before I do that is I cannot have any coefficient to my other than one to my x squared. So I'm gonna have to factor out this negative one. So when I do that, I get a negative one, I'm left with x squared, well, remember, you got to factor it out, out of both terms. So that's going to become an x squared. This will become a negative 4x. Yeah, because if I was to multiply this negative 1, which I don't really need to write, this negative x times x squared is negative x squared. Negative 1 times negative 4x is a positive 4x. Does that make sense? All right. So now what I need to do is I need to make this into a uh, perfect square trinomial. So what we do is we say b over 2 squared. So my b is a uh, negative 4 over 2 and square it. Well negative 4 divided by 2 gives me um, negative 2. Negative 2 squared is a positive 4. right? So therefore I write negative x squared minus 4x and now what I do is I take my b over 2 and I add it into my trinomial. Now since I'm adding it inside my trinomial, I also have to subtract it out of my trinomial. Now here's where the big mistake that a lot of students miss is I multiplied, this negative one is multiplied by this negative four x, right? It's multiplied by everything inside the trinomial. So this is a negative one times a negative, times a positive four. So since I'm multiplying this negative times this four, I also need to multiply this by a negative 1. Does that kind of make sense? Because I, since I added it inside the parentheses, it's being multiplied by a negative 1. So therefore, if I'm going to subtract the 4, this is add, this is subtract, you also need to multiply this by a negative 1. So therefore, what I get now is negative x squared minus 4x plus 4. This becomes a positive, so it's plus 5. Now, why did we add b over 2 into inside these parentheses? Why would I even want to do that? The reason why you want to do that is because now when you have a perfect square trinomial, you can make it into a binomial square. And I look at how can I write this as a binomial square? Well, to figure out this value, you can take whatever your middle term is, you're going to use that sign, and if you just take b over 2, and you'll get square it, and you'll get your trinomial. So what was my b over 2? Well, b divided by 2 is a negative 4 divided by 2, which is a, oh, which is a negative 2, so, or 2. So it's x minus 2 squared equals this, plus 5. And I'm sorry, that's a negative sign there, right? Okay, make sense? Now, let's get to the fun stuff. Next thing I said to solve, find your zeros. So to solve for this, I first subtract the 5, and I get negative 5 equals negative x minus 2 squared. Before I can take the square root, I have to divide by negative 1. Why? Because I've got to get rid of that negative right there. So therefore, that leaves me a positive 5 equals x minus 2 squared. Now I can take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of 5 equals x plus 2 plus or minus, and then I subtract 2. So I get x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of 5. And those would be my two x-intercepts. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Two mistakes that you made 
we're first not factoring that negative one out of all of out of both of my terms. And the other mistake you made was you had this negative one, you didn't divide that out first. Whatever you factor out, you gotta get rid of that before you take the square root. Okay. Got it?